Hello and welcome to Hotline TV, everybody. I'm John Mercurio. And I'm Sean Miller. Today we bring you another edition of Veepstakes. Viva Las Veepstakes. All right, Sean, we have heard quite a bit about the potential uh, running mates for Barack Obama over the past few days, but give us the latest buzz. What's the latest buzz surrounding Obama's selection process? Go. And welcome, by the way, to Hotline TV, your Thank first, you. your Thank first you. appearance. Well, uh, today there was a story out. Uh, Representative Kilpatrick had met with Obama's uh, Veep selection team. Mm -hmm. what's, at, what's left of it? What's left of it. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the die facta, as, as you will. Um, <laughs> And, and, and the names that came out are names that we've heard before. Uh, we have, you know, of course, uh, John Edwards' names being mentioned again. Right. Um, and also Senator Sam Nunn from Georgia. Former senator, sure. Former senator uh, who has been out of politics for almost a decade but is now uh, emerging as a potential vice president. It seems like a lot of the names that you're hearing leaking out of the, these like private talks that are going on are um, military people, people who have some sort of connection to national security. Not a big surprise that Obama wants to do that, but it seems as though we're headed in that direction, um, whether it's Jim Webb you know, or a Sam Nunn or somebody like that. Now, Edwards has taken himself out. Right. Do people still take that seriously? Well, or? I mean, he, he, he backed himself away from those statements uh, last Sunday when he appeared um, on uh, ABC, and, and and you know he's sort of gone back and forth. I think uh, you know as you said, it's been a lot of focus on military names. Um, you know, folks affiliated with uh, with the Armed Services Committee. Mm -hmm. um, you know, part of that though is that some random names are being thrown around. Uh, you know, General James Jones was being mentioned as a possible VP for Obama. Subsequently, appears at an event with John McCain in Missouri this week. Uh, uh, sort of a thanks but no thanks. Thanks but no thanks. Uh, yeah. You know, throwing cold water over that speculation. All right, let's talk about the Republican side, John McCain. What names uh, are we hearing this week? Who are, who's, who's got the real buzz? Well, the real buzz is uh, with uh, Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty. Yeah. He, uh, he actually, um, I think, takes, takes the week in terms of press. Uh, there was a story out uh, in U.S. News and World Report yesterday saying that uh, he is at the top of uh, Senator McCain's list. Also a story out uh, in National Journal this week by the Atlantic's Mark Ambedary that says that uh, McCain big is... Big friend of the show. Big, 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 big friend of the big show. Big friend of the show. Um, which says basically that McCain is, has already made up his mind and is sort of just going through the motions in terms of picking his VP. And and that, uh, you know, not only is, is Pawlenty up there on the list, but also uh, Governor uh, Mitt Romney. As well. My favorite nugget, though, had to be Deborah Solomon in the New York Times Magazine's interview with Charlie Crist, where she asked him why it is, after 29 years, he hasn't been able to find a woman in Florida to marry. And he tells her, stay tuned. So I think we're looking at a possible... You know, coincidental, of course, coincidentally scheduled marriage, or at least an announcement of an engagement between him uh, and his uh, his girlfriend Carol Rome, potentially is timed between now and the uh, election. We'll see. That's true. Uh, we could see that. Also, though, speaking of uh, Governor uh, Chris, he came out this week in favor of offshore oil drilling. He did uh, a position which he uh, had previously he had previously been opposed to, um, and so that has created a, a buzz around whether or not he. Um, you know, is trying to ingratiate himself, uh, you know, to Senator McCain and, and, and try to, you know, sort of do everything that he can to get on the ticket. Um, and, John, I know that you've said that, that perhaps he was being a bit too ingratiating, that, that, that perhaps it was a bit too much I of... worry. I worry for Charlie Chris that he's being too ingratiating. We all know that McCain does not like the ingratiating type, the Mitt Romney during the primary campaign would serve as a good example. But unfortunately, that's going to have to be it for today's edition of Veep Stakes. But... Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to check out our new Veep Stakes column, written by our very own Sean Miller, debuting June 25th, next Wednesday, uh, on the Hotline website. Until then, I'm John Mercurio. And I'm Sean Miller. See you next time.